on the outskirts of Panama City. The wind rattles blue tarps. A new home for Misty Gregory, Gary LaPlante, and their special needs toddler. We have a two-year-old in a tent. No matter what good you try to do, no matter how hard you try, you just get kicked down. Nearly 8,000 are homeless after Hurricane Michael decimated the area last October. <laughs> Tears of gratitude for Dion Summers. She rescued many living in this tent city, allowing them to camp out on her property and use her shower. They needed somewhere to go. There is nowhere for them to go. This is home to me. Jacinta Wheeler, an immigrant from Trinidad, lost everything and has to start over. Everybody wants the American dream. If this is the dream, then I don't want it. Officials say more than 45,000 structures were hit with anything from roof damage to complete destruction. That's three out of four households in a county of 180,000 people. They had a shoe store or something. They're just out. Yeah. They're done. Pat Muth looks for scraps in what used to be his office. Pretty bad, pretty bad feeling. Pretty bad indeed. I had no idea. Many camp out in the cold rain. So this is where you live, huh? This is your home. Yeah. And for those lucky enough to get a FEMA trailer, like Ricky Keith. It blowed all our belongings away. No, we got nothing. Nothing but gratitude, that is, for surviving. I'm lucky to be, I'm lucky to talk to you, sir. Nearly 5,000 students in the school system are homeless. Attendance has dropped up to 25% in some of the elementary schools. The school board juggles how to fix $300 million in damage and which schools to close. That's one out of every uh, uh, four schools uh, basically we need, we need to close. And these are tough, tough decisions for these communities. Work through it so we can make sure it gets in the hands of the kids. Principals keep closets stocked with clothing. We do laundry for children. And let students and staff use hard to find laundry machines. Well, it's hard to, to come to school and concentrate on grades and, and doing your best academically when you're worried about your home and your belongings and where you're gonna be tomorrow. And Mexico Beach. The, the whole uh, second floor is completely gone. Cleanup is slow across Mexico Beach. Many homes like this being demolished. But the mayor says even though homeowners are ready to rebuild, the city cannot afford basic new infrastructure, making the future of this city unclear. We can't live off of the reimbursement process that the state of Florida has. Mayor Al Cathy says they can't afford a $30 million cleanup with a budget one-tenth of that. We're into the reality of how do we pay for this. A years-long recovery is underway. Nuggle mama. Can I have a hug? Nuggle mama. And hope can be found throughout the debris-littered panhandle, embodied by those going through the most trying of times. You have to be strong and keep going, and that's what we're going to do. Joshua Plogel, the Associated Press, Panama City, Florida.